Where'd that big guy go? He's right there. Is that him? Oh, there he is. Oh, just on the other side of that big boulder. Oh my gosh, it's gonna come right to him. There he is. Oh, awesome. <laughs> fish. It was a nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was so cool. Ultimate spot and stock. Just saw him rising. Work in. Just be patient. Make one cast that counts. Awesome. Get the whole river to myself right now too. This is so cool. Left the net in the boat, which might prove bad, but let's see what I can do here. It's a long leader is part of the problem. This guy is so golden brown. Oh wow. So here's the fly that I caught this fish on. It's a thread body, CDC wing, blue wing olive emerger that I tie up. Just a great pattern, did really well. Anytime the fish were keying on blue wings, I put this on and in fact, most of the fish that I caught on blue wings were on this pattern in this video. That was awesome. Total spot in stock, just sitting there between the rocks. Just, you can see there's hardly any current He's just coming up just when something comes in. One cast fish right there. That's just phenomenal. All right, on to the next one. Fish rising right over there. So I'm gonna park below down by the rock, come up to him here. He came off of that rock right in there. There he is, right there. Okay, let me go park. Okay, I'm gonna have to go way up and around this guy through the snake infested boulder field to get above him. Let's see, he is basically, oh, where is he? He's right there. Okay, big boulder right out from that. Sneak down by this tree. Keep my eye on him up. He just came up to rot to eat. He is right there by that rock. Rose again. Undetected. He's gonna rise. Oh, just thought he was gonna rise there. Just got the one fly on. I don't want to mess it up by having flies on. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my line situated out this way. Okay. Cast out there. Oh my gosh. 
so slow moving. Kind of hunkered down. Dang. Hope I didn't put him down somehow. I'd love to see him rise again. That might be right over him. Let's see what this does. Oh, if I get there, it's just going to drag. Oh. See if he likes it. Looking. Nope. Fish like this are so hard. They're the the six-point bull of the fly fishers trophy case. Let's just say I live in a world where I won't spook him. Just be confident, just like that. Cannot get a drift to that guy right there. Uh, see, he's 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 down. He's not eating anymore. Shoot. Okay. Um, different game plan. I'm gonna have to back out. See if he'll come back up and then I'm gonna make a cast closer to him right there. Same way I came. Doing a new approach like this also just allows that fish to settle down, get comfortable again, start feeding. These are, for the most part, one cast fish. You don't get a lot of second chances. Okay, moment of truth, I'm going in. I gotta do this. It's so much windier than it was, but maybe. Come on, wind, please cooperate. That's just gonna be extremely tough. Practice cast, you probably can't see me. Ugh. Yeah, fly through way back. zone a little bit. Oh, it's up against that rock. Oh my gosh. That could be the cast right there. Three, two, one. And I got it. That was it. That was it. Awesome. Did I bring my net? Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Wow. Oh, tangling himself up. Come on. Don't do that. I'm just like trembling here. Come on, bud, right here. Oh, there he is. What a beauty. Let me unhinge you. Oh, what a perfect guy. What a nice fish. Okay, thank you, bud. That was so fun. Okay, let's get you sunlight here. What an awesome guy. What an awesome guy. Oh. oh, wow. I'm out of breath. My heart's just like pounding. And it wasn't the biggest fish I've ever caught. It's just the difficulty of that scenario. I mean, the fish is in, I'll measure it. 16 inches of water right there. So this fish was super tough to catch, mainly because of where he was positioned in the river and the obstacles around him. So I thought it'd be interesting to go back, do a tactical review, and kind of look at those obstacles and the decisions I had to make in order to catch this fish. So you'll see the fish inside this circle right here, which made him super tough to catch because he's only about three or four feet offshore 
and he's in 16 inches of water and he's suspended off the bottom so really in about eight inches of water and this is crystal clear water with zero chop so that means this fish could see all around him in this entire circle right here he's got a huge sight radius where he can see and that basically means that I cannot go inside this circle whatsoever the second I go inside this circle I'm busted he's gonna go down stop feeding or move into deeper water which means that I can fish from this boulder right here or I can hike upriver and fish from this corner up here but when I first looked at it I wanted to fish from this rock right here but the problem was is when I make this cast my fly line is going to drop on these rocks which means I have no ability to mend no ability to line control at all and plus I've got this rock exposed sticking out of the water so as soon as my fly line floats down to that rock it can get snagged on it and mess up my drift so that's when I decided to switch gears go up river do a downstream presentation and try to get him from there so I did a pretty decent job sneaking in on this fish. I crouched down, I eased my way down to this boulder area here where I can make the cast. But the problem was, as soon as I laid my fly line down in the water, there was like no current at all. So my fly line was not drifting downstream to where the fish was. And it started to drag right in this area here. And not only did it drag, but the fly started skirting across the water in this direction, right over the fish. That's pretty much a deal breaker. The fish knew something was up. Up, he immediately went down so I had to pack up and move downstream at that point and go back to the original area where I started and I really had to wait here about five or ten minutes for the fish to come back up and start feeding again so then I snuck into position a second time from this boulder but I had a new problem there was wind right in my face you can see all the chop on the water right now a big downstream wind coming right at me this made it really tough to make this cast because every Every time I would lay the fly line out, the fly would blow right back at me. So I really had to punch it a couple times in order to get the final cast that worked. That could be the cast right there. Three, two, one. Boom, there he was. Man, I was so psyched when I hooked him, but my worst fear came true. My fly line, as you can see, is hooked on this rock right here. So I immediately have to jump up and move upriver, and I'm jiggling my rod right here, trying to get it unhooked. The fly line did come unhooked of the rock. I was able to keep the fish on, which is awesome, and I actually got this thing to hand, which was so rewarding. I was so psyched. So anyway, I thought I would do this tactical breakdown, kind of explain what I went through to catch this fish. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like this type of thing, and if I should try to do it again on future videos. Hey guys, another Spot and stock opportunity here. Where'd he go? There's a boulder right out there. There was a fish behind it a minute ago. I don't see him now. Oh, there he is. Nice and gentle. Oh, too far outside maybe. It's coming in. Boy, it's just sitting there. He moved. He moved out. Wow. Maybe I got too close. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Rock right here, I see half of a fish. I can't even see his head. I can see his tail right there. So what I'm gonna do is cast right on top of the rock. Fly is gonna float right down into him. It's coming in on him. He moved. I, I can't see if he's eating it. That's crazy. 
set it right there I, I think I may have had my chance on him because he moved and I thought he came up and ate it I could not see the fly so I just lifted up assuming that he had maybe eaten the fly and try one strike right there that's not bad right over him didn't want it doggone it he is such a nice fish I can't even see his head oh man he's not he's not down with it shoot This guy has worked me over. There he is. Oh, I got him. That was so cool. That was so cool. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was so cool. Oh yeah. I don't know why it took like four or five casts and then he just like decided I'm eating that thing and he just came up and it just engulfed it oh get out of that rock is he hung up uh oh no nope, I got him all right that was so awesome I had to peek over the rock just to see if he'd eat it Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get this guy. He's heavy. He's kind of out there in that current, too. Oh, boy. Around the rock. Big rock out there. Okay. Oh, he's a nice fish. Bring him in the softer water. Come on. Easy, bud. I'm glad I've got my net this time. He is not coming easy. Oh, wow. He's underneath that big rock. Oh wow, now he's wanting to go out there again, oh man. Okay, maybe that was his last big run, I'm just checking my line to make sure I don't really... <clears throat> Guys, really tough, really tough. <laughs> so heartbreaking. Yeah, broke off. <sighs> okay, time for some Monday morning quarterbacking. What I could have done differently. Ugh. Well, there you have it, guys. I am living proof that you can't win them all. But it was fun trying, and that's why they call it fishing and not catching. But I gotta tell you, I love spot and stock fishing. It is so awesome. It is so much fun. You see those feeding fish, you figure out how to approach them, you make the cast, and there they are. It is just, ah, oh, it's the best. And the green is such a great place to do it with the crystal clear water and just the big fish. Oh, I love it. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please do all the important stuff. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, do whatever. I just, I appreciate you guys. So thanks for the support. And also let me know what you think of that tactical review. I've never done that before. So leave a comment on that. And until next time, we will see you out on the water.